Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm a wildlife artist. Welcome into my studio. And today on this video, I'm going to show you how I do a snow leopard in charcoal on toned paper. So it's perhaps something a little bit different for a lot of you. Now, if the speeded up version is a little bit too fast for you, I've got a brand new Patreon channel and I've got lots and lots of new and exciting things that are going to come your way. So I'm going to be doing new videos, new instruction videos, new step by steps new product reviews, new art book reviews. So if you'd like to see that and a slower version of this video, please go along to my Patreon channel. If you could become a supporter, I'd be greatly appreciated. Enjoy the video. For this demonstration, I'm using Strathmore Tone Gray Paper, charcoal pencils, some carbon pencils, a kneaded eraser or putty rubber, and that's it. So it's really basic. So let's start off with a sharp charcoal pencil. The drawing as you can see has already been transferred to the paper. It's not fixed, there's nothing sprayed on there and I'm just going to search out now and look for the darker elements in the in the actual reference. So these are not the darkest darks but you know next up to the mid-tone. The paper is acting as the mid-tone and that's what's great about using tone paper. Things develop really fast. Now you see that I'm blending out with a stump, just a paper stump so that's giving that smoother, fluffy texture. I'm using the carbon pencils on areas I don't want the black to move much. So around the eyes and on the spots in particular. Carbon doesn't blend as readily as charcoal. So if you've got an area you want to stay put, that's a real good, good thing to use char uh, carbon instead of charcoal. So just blocking in the eyes, getting all those elements in the right places, the nose, blending. And it's layering just similar to um, oil painting and charcoal and carbon is very similar to oil painting because you can overlay light over dark. And with colored pencils that's very very difficult and doesn't really work. So here I'm using a General's white charcoal but any white charcoal or even a white pastel would do just as well. And you can see how by using the tone paper it really punches up that highlight now. And it's a very quick method to use with tone paper acting as the mid-tone. So adding some fur texture to the chin area. And I'm making sure I've got the darker elements in first so that I can overlay those whites on top of them. Just a suggestion here of the markings. I don't want to go too detailed. Blending them in with a harder stump. And then re-establishing those darks. And sometimes I blend with my fingers as well. Putting in some more of that fur texture with that white charcoal. Always making sure that that's going in the fur direction as well. Don't want any parallel lines and awkward looking uh, lines on there. So building up the layers and continuing the process using a white charcoal block there and a black charcoal block to get that background in nice and dark and look how much that makes the, the cat pop forward now. Blending it in with my finger and then overlaying on top of that black with um, charcoal white pencil again. They're refining the edge. Some edge light in. And then obviously I've got to get a few whiskers in there as well just to finish it off and bring it to completion. Re-establishing and punching up some of those darks just to finish it off. Hope you've enjoyed that video and if so I've got lots more on my YouTube channel and don't forget the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button. On my website I've got full length feature videos, I've got reference photo CDs, and ebooks and also the new easy trace line art tool so hope to see you either on my youtube or my website jasonmorgan.co.uk see you all again real soon